macro abrasion. Are you being too aggressive? Part two, and we were on photo number four. Remember, we did the micro abrasion using Opa Luster 6.6% hydrochloric acid. We did four applications, four separate appointments. Each appointment was approximately four to five applications. We do this with no numbing. So when the patient tells us there's a little bit of sensitivity, we stop and we have them come back and we try to reduce these white spots as much as possible. But because we were not able to remove them completely, if you go to photo number five, now we're gonna do macro abrasion. And for that, you need to use a diamond burr. And what you're seeing here is we're literally cutting out the white spot using this burr. Now that cutting of that white spot you want to be as conservative as possible. You want to just remove enough enamel, that white spot in the enamel, so that you can then layer some composite and just hide the white spot. You can see that on photo number six, we're using a different type of burr just to kind of smooth out everything that we've cut down. Photo number seven, we're polishing the entire surface. Photo number eight, we're ready to restore. And on photo number nine, the case is completed. You can see the beautiful outcome, no more white spots, Patient very, very happy. And what we had to do is complete this, this case with a composite restoration. This is a combination of a dentin and an enamel shape. I hope that you enjoy this case and I want you to know that sometimes you need to do microabrasion to solve the problems. See you on the next reel.